Hello and welcome to episode 8 of Lazy Galaxy 2, Cataclysm. It will be up to you to decide whether or not this is the finale. I'll explain everything in the video. I played this yesterday. I hadn't played for a while, 9 weeks. So we have a few fights left to do. I'm going to show some of it. And uh, I'll talk about how I would do things if we continue the series post Cataclysm. Cataclysm is new game plus. Once you clear the galaxy, the game is over and you can do new game plus. So we got 69% of achievements, but it's gonna go up. What I would do if we continue, by the way, these are general stats. I'm just gonna scroll down. I'll go back and go slow and you can watch if you're interested in this. What I intend to do is uh, an achievement. It would be 100% achievement journey for Lazy Galaxy 2 for internal achievements. By the end of the video, I'm going to show you some example of achievements I would try to reach. My goal would be to ace the game and go through multiple new game plus, which is multiple cataclysm. The issue I have though is it would be pretty repetitive. It's always the same thing. And there isn't even a final boss or anything like that. So it would be challenging to make, but if you want me to continue the series, it will be a pleasure. And I will know with views, likes, subscriptions, and comments as usual. If there's a lot of activity on this video, and please let me know in the comments. Do you want this series to continue? But it will be oriented on achievements. I'm looking, by the way, for an, uh, an upgrade that will increase my ship damage. Here's one. Not that I need it. I really destroy everything easily. That's because I made a decision, if you remember from maybe previous episode, that I would keep the Angel faction last because Angels are by far the easiest mobs. So as you go, the enemy power goes up, but Angels are super weak. So if you do Angels last, then you're in a good position. So I'm going to do this uh, mission and you can see that I easily, and all I use is wasps. That's something I find a bit disappointing. Uh, the best strategy, all in wasp, and then you blast them with shotgun. You know, early on in the, um, the series, I had a queen, I had the healers, this, that. By the way, I skipped the whole fight up to, to 20, just in case you didn't notice. <laughs> um, and here, by the way, are my effects from the kitchen, from cooking, and you get to keep it once you do Cataclysm. We'll do a bit of reading once I uh, reach Cataclysm to understand this mechanic. But that's pretty cool because I'm gonna have to do a lot of cooking, I think, um, to push forward because after uh, you're done with the game, New Game Plus, the game gets more difficult. This planet appeared, I sort of forgot it was there. But here mobs are super weak as well. My wasp are level 128, look how weak these are. This is, uh, oh, this is the boss, I skipped the whole thing, but I mean, uh, okay, I died. <laughs> I called them weak, then I died. That's because of that. all 19, and then after that I died. Then I decided to cook some uh, sticky and chocolate to get more wasp damage. But honestly, it was easy because you do the first 19, you die at the boss, but everything was so weak. Ah, oh, I wish I showed you that, but it's too late. You've seen plenty of that anyways. It's always the same thing. That's, that's why it's difficult to make videos on this. But as I said, if you want it, it would be a pleasure uh, to do it. And this series was relatively uh, successful. The rule I'm trying to follow is 10% of my subscription base. So if I get 400 views, because we're approaching 4,000 subscribers. If I get 400 views on the video, the video is perfectly fine. And I think all of my Easy Galaxy 2 videos, if I'm not mistaken, got more than 400 views. So I'm really happy with this series. It was fun too. I remember playing the first one. The first one was really fun. I don't remember if it was more enjoyable than the second one. I don't have any idea. And I don't know if they're gonna make a third one. Yeah, I'm choosing uh, ingredients 
because I want to make more of that chocolate. It's 15% damage for my wasp every time and that's an easy uh, thing to make. Look at the enemy power, it's maxed out now. As I'm waiting, there is new stuff in the tree. There was a little update. So this is new. Fleet loadouts, it's very cheap, so I'm gonna buy that. Health packs are collected automatically, but it's only when they're about to disappear. I don't know what's new and not because I haven't played for too long. And I won't buy anything. I'm strong enough. The tree is not very elaborated, that's another disappointment. I mean, the game is pretty good, it's just uh, maybe I've seen better. <laughs> it's okay. Tell me in the comments, how did you like the game? I'm gonna get Battle AI. Did I get it? I don't remember. Did I click on it? Anyways, we're gonna get uh, in this fight because the last fight and there's no final boss, we're gonna watch it in times two speed and look how easy it is. Enemy power to the max, but the Angel faction once again, they absolutely weak. <laughs> They're very weak, so it's easy. Uh, but yeah, I was wishing for a super boss at the end or something. Now we're gonna do a little bit of reading and don't forget about timestamps, okay? Congratulations, Conqueror, the galaxy is ours now that our, all our enemies have escaped away from the galaxy and the whatever controls the operation of the whole galaxy. We can sit back and watch all the production numbers go up without having a care in the world. Not easy enough for you. Perhaps we need to work a bit harder in order to achieve more complete, complete laziness. Perhaps we could rearrange the fabric of the universe itself to further advance our production. And then they talk about New Game Plus. Because the concept, lazy galaxy, my goal is to be so strong that I can just sit back and be lazy, not have to fight and make all sorts of resources. I think that's the idea behind the title of this uh, game. I'm speculating right now, but I'm probably not too far from the truth. Okay, so they also say it doesn't matter when you do Cataclysm. So I don't gain anything by sitting there. So I'm going to do Cataclysm. So those are my achievements so far, but I'm going to get more because I will do Cataclysm, which will give me an achievement, of course. So are you sure? It's New Game Plus. I'll give up a bunch of things, but I'll gain... And that's interesting. The primal, the primal candy, sorry, blessings and curses, very interesting. And I really don't remember if the first game had that. Please let me know in the comments. It's because I haven't played the first game in so, so long. So let's check this out. And I'll have to accelerate some of the footage because I had to make a decision when it came. Oh wow. When it came to, uh, I'll let you read this. I don't feel like reading this. When it came to deciding for the blessing and the curses. I had to think I wanted to do it properly, so uh, while I was recording, I was thinking, so we'll speed up that part. But yeah, they talk about choosing blessings and curses, and of course, uh, as we go through multiple cataclysm, we're going to get more primordial candy, which boosts my non-energy production by two times. So to get those achievements, all those achievements, I would have to do multiple cataclysms. So this is sped up footage, believe it or not. And I wasn't sure what to get. 20% uh, to heal to 100%. If, you know, so I, one in five not to die if I'm about to die. So I was like, is that the spiteful revival? I was like, uh, no, no. Um, the first ones is sort of interesting, they're a bit underwhelming, so I decided to go with production. One, see, 10% more production, right? Now, if I do it again, it's 20% more production. And I can keep two upgrades between ascensions. I would assume those upgrades are from, uh, you know, I don't know if I can choose like a super high tier one. And the cursors are not that bad. You know, I use only a wasp, right? Uh, okay, 100% delay between health packs. I don't mind dying and trying again. It, it's not that long between fights, so I decided to choose this curse. And this explains what Primordial Candy is. 
Okay, so what we'll do is we're gonna start and I'll do just one fight to show you the difference in difficulty. Then uh, it'll, be, it'll be pretty much it. And again, it's up to you whether or not this is the finale. Same approach as Vampire Survivors. Eventually, I'm gonna change the title and add the word finale in Vampire Survivors, my last video, because it did not do well. So if you want to support this video, here it is in the right corner. Give it a little like and a comment or something to save my Vampire Survivor series because I love this game and I want to continue playing it, but there's not enough audience, unfortunately. So we'll do the same with this game. I won't call it finale yet, but if it doesn't do well, if, if I see that the interest is low, I mean, I understand because it's always the same thing. All you would see is achievements. So for instance, I'll give you an example. I'm about to show you that, by the way. So here's the logs. There's an achievement for reading all the logs, by the way. This is sped up footage once again because I was clicking around and I already placed my building. I forgot about a thing called synergy. But I don't even know if they're on lock yet, so it doesn't really matter. Pretty rusty at the game when you leave for something like nine weeks. I said, how do I get to fight again? Just need a couple more buildings like an academy and things like this. Eventually I'll be able to fight. I just wanted to fight, I didn't care about anything. Use a fleet, that's what I need. Buy whatever. We're getting there, we're getting there. Two times academy production, and we're getting pretty close here. Upgrade, I'm using auto clicker, by the way. I think you know that. For this game at least, I always let you know. Come on, let's get to fighting. There you go, I'm ready to fight. I'm gonna do the first fight. With my Wasp level 5 and you're gonna see the difference. Remember the beginning of the game, how everything is easy. Now, yeah, I'm winning, okay? I'm gonna skip probably part of it. But, yeah, you know, it, I feel that there's a difference in difficulty, so I will have to cook a lot. And is Wasp only the right approach in Cataclysm? Ah, that's an interesting question. So I could maybe try to play with uh, ship combinations. I don't know. But I would start with Wasp only and make a lot of this Stygian chocolate. Tons of it. Enough to have diabetes. 520 out of 20. So we got our first win. I'm going to stop it there. I'm going to go into achievements and talk about the type of thing I would do in future episodes if you want me to continue. Look at all these. I'll re-expand it about a way by 70% of the achievements. I'll uh, re-expand it to explain what I mean. So all I have to do is look at the requirement and mean it. For instance, join this league three times. Okay, join this one three times. Or uh, read all lore logs or do this or do Pineapple pizza? I don't know what that is. I would have to look it up, you know? Things like this. So all I have to do is, you know, find five ways to cook. Unfortunate mixture. I don't know what that is either. I send with one asteroid lick. So it's a bunch of challenges, I guess. Here's an achievement for Cataclysm. So that's what I would do. It would be achievement oriented and it would be 100% achievement journey. So that's what I got for you. Okay, so I don't know if this was the last video of the series. If it was, thank you so much for supporting this channel. And uh, there's plenty of other series that you can watch that always add games. I'll keep an eye out for Lazy Galaxy 3. I want to see if there's something uh, in development. And maybe they'll add DLC or some sort of expansion to the game also, that's possible. Now I'm talking as if the series was over, but maybe it's not over. If it's not, then I'll see you in the next episode. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, again, subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.